you may have heard about air purifiers before, but there are many different types and various claims made about them and their effectiveness. Could they be useful in combating COVID-19? In this video, we'll shed some light on what air purifiers are, how they work, and what we know about their effectiveness against pollutants, including viruses, amongst other things. So what exactly is an air purifier? It's a device used to clean particles out of the air. They are meant to improve air quality of our indoor spaces. In this video, we'll be focusing on two types of air purifiers. The high efficiency particulate air or HEPA filter purifiers and the negative air ion or NAI purifiers. The HEPA filters work like any filter. Air is pushed through a very fine mesh that traps particles and the resulting air that is released is therefore cleaner. There is some more complicated science going on in the NAI purifiers though. They produce negatively charged ions which electrically charge particles and make them easier to deposit or attach to other surfaces rather than floating around for you to breathe in. Pretty cool, right? Some NAI purifiers are so small they are the size of a cell phone. And as an upside, there are no filters that need changing. This makes them quite appealing to people. But do they actually work? According to various studies, we can safely assume that HIPAA filter air purifiers are effective against allergens, dusts, and smoke, making them helpful for people with asthma, for example. As for bacteria, its effectiveness is dependent on whether the bacteria is airborne, that is, traveling through the air. For an airborne bacterium, such as tuberculosis, HEPA air purifiers may be effective. But what about viruses? This depends on whether the virus is airborne as well. Just like with bacteria, the air purifier will only be helpful against airborne virus particles. Air purifiers may be useful against these airborne viruses, such as measles. There is evidence to show that NAI purifiers can also be effective in removing particulate matter from the air. There have been studies that show they do help to reduce the spread of viral infection in animals, but only when there was proper ventilation and the areas weren't overcrowded as well. Now the question is, would air purifiers help with COVID-19? The issue with COVID-19 is that it's such a new virus, so we're still learning a lot about it. We know that COVID-19 is mainly transmitted by droplet infection and through surfaces. We are still not sure if COVID-19 is also airborne. But there is some evidence to suggest that it may be, and that droplets may float and travel through the air for some distance. Virus particles by themselves might be very small in the air, but these particles often travel within bigger particles such as saliva or mucus droplets. This means uh, that if the purifiers are catching the particle which contains the smaller virus, they could be effective. There have been some studies conducted that state that HEPA air purifiers may help against the spread of COVID-19. There haven't been any studies yet about NAI effectiveness against COVID-19 in particular, but they may also be effective in helping to remove particles from the air that contained COVID-19 virus. Again, no evidence reported yet. However, an understanding of air filtration is key if these air purifiers are going to help people. Proper natural ventilation is still very important, as is avoiding overcrowding of uh, indoor spaces. A purifier also won't take the place of other safety procedures such as ensuring good personal hygiene and sanitized surfaces or wearing masks. To make sure you're getting any of the potential benefits of an air purifier, make sure to follow all the manufacturer's instructions. For example, changing the filters of a HIPAA air purifier when recommended. Otherwise, the purifier might be doing more harm than good. Speaking of harm, are there any known side effects to air purifiers? Air purifiers have been with us for so many years, and the verdict on HIPAA filters would be that they are generally safe and effective to improve indoor air quality. And there is no advice against them so as long as they are used and maintained as directed. 
As for the NAI purifiers, there are no reliable studies to indicate any serious health concerns. There are minor concerns though about ozone emission, so it would be best to choose one that generates little or no ozone. We cannot say for certain that air purifiers are effective against viruses, but they may help to catch virus particles traveling inside larger particles. Purifiers should not replace other precautions like general sanitizing, but may work in tandem to reduce the spread of viruses as well as other pollutants. If you have the budget, it wouldn't hurt to have an air purifier at home. Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you learned something new and subscribe if you want to check out all the future videos from my channel. I'll see you next time.